so with that played, Steve Bannon talking to Lee Edwards of the Heritage Foundation back in March of 2016 on Breitbart Radio, where Steve Bannon, who is, again, one of the most senior advisors in the Trump administration, seems to be basically pulling all the strings, uh, predicted with uh, war with China within five to ten years over these uh, islands in the South Pacific. Um, here is uh, NPR's Cor uh, Audie uh, Cornish. And, you know, we're saying all that we can do right now is, without getting too hysterical and, and trying to piece together conspiracies of what's going to happen, nobody knows what's going to happen in the future, we're saying uh, we should, if not be ringing the alarm right now, we should be, you know, setting people up to find the alarm and to be aware of this. Here's Audie Cornish doing the exact opposite. She's interviewing Dr. Sebastian Gorka, a deputy assistant to the president, about Steve Bannon's qualifications to sit on the National Security Council. Remember, we just played an audio of him on uh, being the host of Breitbart Radio. And uh, people have also talked about uh, Stephen Bannon's background uh, with the Navy. Uh, most of his adult life has been in the media. How is that experience relevant? Um, I think you need to look at uh, what Stephen Bannon did in terms of building a, a media giant that has crushed its uh, left-wing rivals in terms of uh, Breitbart.com. I think one has to look at what he did for the Trump campaign to understand that this is a man who eats and breathes and sleeps strategy. Uh, whether or not he wore a uniform, that's a credit to his service to the nation. But he is really, and I can tell you, somebody who's worked with with him for years, a truly strategic mind. So of value to national security concerns? Without question. And you know it's true, because it was on NPR. We're nonpartisan. Just smart thinking here. That makes the Steve Inskeep, Michael Flynn thing look like hard-hitting analysis and questioning. And by the way, oh, Simon he Gorka crushed, is insane. He crushed Sebastian his uh, liberal uh, rivals by developing a website full of half-truths. And, and so you think that makes him uh, uh, eligible for national security? Of course. Thank you for your time. That was almost like a kiss, like how Kissinger like bowled over reporters. I imagine like he has that voice, so just whatever he says, you're like, oh. So but that wasn't a bowl over. Kissinger would be like, if you look at the strategy, there is a historical context that Breitbart fits into in modern information warfare. That guy was literally just like he's fucking crushed Let his opposition on the internet. He helped Trump get elected, so he's strategic. Oh, thank you. Let me let me correct Adi uh, Cornish's uh, question. It should not be, so you think he's uh, eligible. It should be, but why would that possibly make him uh, qualified to handle national security? That's the question you asked there. So for any of you kids thinking of going into journalism and doing it for a serious outlet, that's the way you do it. By the way, just... Don't just, do it. What? Go into journalism. I don't it's think so I'm... expensive. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, least of our uh, uh, this is also and just just as all circles loop Gorka is also insane and he is sort of like has this notion of like the global jihad movement that needs to be treated like a new cold war and the main problem in counterterrorism practices and policies you know what one of the main problems is according to Gorka counterterrorism te practice and policies PC? Yeah. what is it nailed it to, to, a, to a politically correct 